The fluoride promise healthy teeth or hidden danger. We all want the best for our children, especially when it comes to their health. For decades, we've been told that fluoride is the gold standard for strong, healthy teeth. It's added to our water, found in most toothpastes, and even recommended by dentists. But what if this seemingly harmless ingredient isn't as safe as we've been led to believe, especially for our children? This is a question more and more parents are asking, and for good reason. Emerging research is raising serious concerns about the potential dangers of fluoride, particularly for developing children. As a doctor and a parent, I believe it's crucial to arm ourselves with the facts and make informed decisions about our children's health. This essay will delve into the hidden dangers of fluoride toothpaste for kids, exploring the science, the stories, and the solutions. We'll uncover the potential risks associated with fluoride exposure, examine real-life cases of fluoride poisoning, and discuss safer alternatives for protecting your child's precious smile. Knowledge is power, and when it comes to our children's health, we can't afford to be in the dark. Harvard Speaks Out is Fluoride Impacting Young Minds For years, the debate surrounding fluoride has centered around its dental benefits versus its potential risks. Fluoride has been widely praised for its role in preventing tooth decay and strengthening enamel, making it a staple in dental care products and public water supplies. However, the conversation is shifting as new research emerges. However, a growing body of research suggests that fluoride might be doing more than just impacting teeth, it could be affecting the developing brains of our children. This revelation has sparked a wave of concern among parents, educators, and health professionals alike. A groundbreaking study conducted by Harvard University sent shockwaves through the medical community. The researchers meticulously analyzed data from various regions and demographics, ensuring a comprehensive understanding of fluoride's potential impact. The study, which analyzed data from over 27 studies worldwide, found a possible link between fluoride exposure and lower IQ scores in children. This correlation has raised eyebrows and prompted further investigation into the long-term effects of fluoride on cognitive development. These findings, published in the esteemed journal Environmental Health Perspectives, raised serious concerns about the safety of fluoride, especially for children with developing brains. The journal's reputation for rigorous peer-reviewed research adds weight to these alarming conclusions. Adding fuel to the fire, the National Center for Biotechnology Information, a respected resource for scientific information, published a review article highlighting fluoride's potential neurotoxic effects. This review synthesized data from multiple studies, providing a broader perspective on the issue. The article pointed to numerous animal studies that demonstrated fluoride's ability to cross the blood-brain barrier and interfere with brain development, potentially leading to cognitive impairment. These animal models offer crucial insights into how fluoride might affect human brains, especially those of young children, potentially leading to cognitive impairment. Parents and educators have reported noticing subtle changes in children's learning abilities and behavior, further fueling the debate. While more research is needed to definitively establish a causal link between fluoride exposure and cognitive decline in children, the current evidence is compelling enough to warrant caution. Researchers are calling for more extensive, long-term studies to better understand the full scope of fluoride's impact on the brain. These initial findings are alarming, to say the least. They have prompted communities to re-evaluate their water fluoridation policies and consider alternative methods for dental health. They underscore the importance of approaching fluoride with caution, especially when it comes to our children's developing brains. As we await more definitive answers, it is crucial to stay informed and weigh the benefits and risks of fluoride exposure carefully. Laura's Story, A Parent's Nightmare with Fluoride Toothpaste The scientific research surrounding fluoride's potential dangers is concerning enough, but the real-life stories of families impacted by fluoride poisoning paint a chilling picture. One such story is that of Laura Cheek, a mother who experienced a terrifying ordeal with her young daughter. Laura, like many parents, diligently brushed her daughter's teeth with fluoride toothpaste, believing she was doing the best for her child's dental health. One evening, however, her daughter accidentally swallowed a small amount of toothpaste. What followed was a nightmare. Her daughter began experiencing nausea, vomiting, and stomach cramps. Frightened, Laura rushed her to the emergency room, where doctors diagnosed her with fluoride poisoning. Laura's story is not an isolated incident. Thousands of children are rushed to emergency rooms each year due to fluoride poisoning from toothpaste. These incidents, 
often dismissed as minor, highlight the very real dangers of fluoride, especially for young children who may not understand the importance of spitting out their toothpaste. Laura's experience serves as a stark reminder that even small amounts of fluoride can have serious consequences. It underscores the importance of being aware of the potential risks associated with fluoride toothpaste and taking steps to protect our children from accidental poisoning. The case of Laura Cheek's daughter is just one of many alarming incidents reported each year. Laura's daughter, like many other children, fell victim to the hidden dangers lurking in everyday household items. The incident has left Laura and her family deeply concerned about the safety of products they once considered harmless. Statistics from the American Association of Poison Control Centers, or AAPCC, paint a disturbing picture of the prevalence of fluoride poisoning in the United States. The data reveals a troubling trend that has been growing over the past decade, indicating that more and more families are being affected by this issue. According to their data, poison control centers across the country receive tens of thousands of calls annually related to fluoride exposure, with emergency response teams working tirelessly to manage these cases. The sheer volume of calls highlights the widespread nature of the problem. A significant portion of these calls involve children under the age of six who are particularly vulnerable to fluoride poisoning due to their smaller body size and tendency to ingest non-food items. This age group is at a higher risk because they are still developing and are more likely to explore their environment by putting things in their mouths. These incidents often stem from children swallowing fluoride toothpaste, which is commonly found in households. Parents may not realize the potential danger until it's too late. Children are attracted by its bright colors and appealing flavors, mistaking it for candy or a treat. This makes it even more enticing for young children who are naturally curious and drawn to visually appealing items. While most cases are mild, resulting in symptoms like nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, these symptoms can still be distressing for both the child and their parents. The immediate discomfort and potential for dehydration can lead to further complications if not addressed promptly. Some cases can be more serious, leading to complications such as dental fluorosis, which is a condition that results in the discoloration of teeth. This condition can have long-term effects on a child's dental health and self-esteem. Dental fluorosis is characterized by white spots or streaks on the teeth, and in severe cases, brown stains and surface pitting. These visible signs can affect a child's confidence and may require cosmetic dental treatments to address. In extreme cases, fluoride poisoning can lead to severe health issues, including damage to the bones and joints, and in rare instances, even death. These severe outcomes underscore the importance of taking preventive measures seriously. The AAPCC data reveals a concerning trend. The number of fluoride poisoning cases is on the rise. This increase is alarming and calls for immediate action from all stakeholders involved. This increase may be attributed to several factors, including the widespread availability of fluoride toothpaste, the lack of awareness about its potential dangers, and the often confusing messaging surrounding its use. Additionally, the marketing strategies employed by toothpaste manufacturers can sometimes downplay the risks associated with fluoride ingestion. The widespread availability of fluoride toothpaste means that it is easily accessible to children, often within their reach in bathrooms and other areas of the home. This accessibility increases the likelihood of accidental ingestion. The lack of awareness about its potential dangers is another critical factor. Many parents are not fully informed about the risks associated with fluoride toothpaste, leading to unintentional exposure. The often confusing messaging surrounding its use adds to the problem. Toothpaste packaging and marketing can sometimes send mixed signals, making it difficult for parents to understand the appropriate usage and potential risks. These statistics serve as a wake-up call for parents, healthcare providers, and policymakers alike. It is crucial to take proactive steps to mitigate the risks associated with fluoride poisoning. We need to address this growing public health concern by promoting awareness about the risks of fluoride poisoning, educating parents on safe practices, and providing clear guidelines on the use of fluoride-containing products. Encouraging the development of safer alternatives to fluoride toothpaste is also essential. Researchers and manufacturers should focus on creating products that are both effective and safe for children. Implementing stricter regulations on fluoride-containing products can help reduce the incidence of poisoning. Policymakers must work together to establish and enforce guidelines that protect public health and ensure the safety of consumer products. 
While most fluoride toothpastes carry warning labels advising parents to supervise their children's brushing habits and to contact poison control in case of accidental ingestion, these warnings are often overlooked or dismissed as mere formalities. Many parents might think that such warnings are just a legal requirement and not something to be genuinely concerned about. However, the reality is far more complex and warrants closer attention. What many parents don't realize is that these warnings are there for a reason, and they point to a crucial aspect of fluoride toothpaste that is rarely discussed, its potential toxicity. Fluoride, while beneficial in small amounts for preventing cavities, can be harmful if ingested in larger quantities. This is particularly concerning for young children who might accidentally swallow toothpaste while brushing. Fluoride, in essence, is a poison. It is a substance that, in high enough doses, can cause serious health issues. This is why it is important to understand the balance between its benefits and its risks. The potential for harm is not just theoretical. There have been documented cases of fluoride toxicity, especially in children. It's a fact acknowledged even by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, or FDA, which classifies fluoride as a drug when used in toothpaste due to its intended pharmacological action to prevent cavities. This classification is significant because it means that fluoride is subject to the same scrutiny and regulatory standards as other drugs. The FDA's recognition of fluoride as a drug underscores the importance of using it correctly and being aware of its potential side effects. However, this classification also means that fluoride, like any other drug, comes with potential side effects, some of which can be serious. These side effects can range from mild symptoms like stomach upset to more severe conditions such as dental fluorosis, which causes discoloration and damage to the teeth. In extreme cases, excessive fluoride ingestion can lead to acute toxicity, which requires immediate medical attention. The problem is that the messaging surrounding fluoride toothpaste often downplays its potential risks. Advertisements and marketing materials tend to focus on the positive aspects, such as cavity prevention and the promotion of strong, healthy teeth. This can create a false sense of security among consumers, leading them to overlook the importance of using fluoride toothpaste responsibly. The focus is primarily on its benefits, preventing cavities and promoting strong teeth, while the potential downsides are often glossed over or presented in a way that minimizes their significance. This selective presentation of information can be misleading, making it difficult for parents to fully understand the implications of using fluoride toothpaste for their children. This lack of transparency is concerning, as it prevents parents from making truly informed decisions about their children's dental health. When parents are not fully aware of the potential risks, they cannot take the necessary precautions to protect their children. This includes supervising their brushing habits closely and ensuring that they use only a pea-sized amount of toothpaste. Parents have a right to know the full story about fluoride toothpaste, including its potential risks so they can weigh the pros and cons and make the best choice for their children's well-being. By being fully informed, parents can make better decisions about their children's dental care, balancing the benefits of fluoride with its potential risks. This knowledge empowers them to take proactive steps